Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out some awesome creations because I have searched VTOL in the Steam Workshop and we have a few builds to look at today. Now I've randomly selected these builds based on how they you know appear in if they have a thumbnail or if they just look awesome but yeah we have five random VTOL creations to check out so let's get into it all right so the first one we have is this one this is the ah oh, it's so hard to read the actual name when the transform list comes up there we go helios star seeker VTOL attack plane mark two by serif it has a bunch of controls i am not going to read all of that because i kind of just want to figure out things by myself <laughs> here goes nothing oh would you look at that did you see how that just went into its i don't know i guess this is landing mode the legs kind of just open here let me just spawn that again all right so this is it's like build mode mode right <laughs> and then when you spawn it in it opens up really nicely and i think there's the culprit that distance sensor has a decal on but when it senses the ground it should be able to well it does clearly open its landing gear and the wings move which is cool but for this guys i'm needing to turn on my show controls all right so we have wasd pretty standard controls i'm guessing that's pitch and roll space all right space is to go forward shift Ah, uh, there we go. So shift is the toggle for the VTOL mode. For those of you who do not know what VTOL means, it means vertical takeoff or landing. So by pressing shift, I should be able to do a vertical takeoff now, right? Oh, okay, we're going. We're going. Oh, there we go. Landing gear is in. Okay, it's pretty well balanced. Got a altitude sensor on the back to help me know my altitude, which is awesome. Okay, E is to shoot. E is definitely to shoot the rockets. What is T? We have a keybind for T and I don't know what that is. Oh, and then left mouse is, of course, the uh, the gun. All right, let's go into normal flight mode. So that was a pretty successful vertical takeoff. I like how it was like a gradual climb too. It wasn't like an instant boost into the sky. We do have another control, left control, which I don't know what that does either. I'm trying to have a look here. Maybe it's some lights. I don't know. Well, either way, this thing is functioning really well. Ooh, I love how this thing turns. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's very nimble. That is awesome. Okay, how good can we transition into the VTOL mode whilst going full speed? This is very quick, actually. 380 plus KPH. All right, uh, let's transition now. Pretty smooth. Okay, now it's my job to land this thing. Come on. And then the landing gear should come out automatically, right? Oh, there we go. I broke I broke the engine there. Oops. Okay, well, not too bad. This is actually a really unique looking VTOL. Like, I love the way it's... It's a plane. It's obviously a plane, but like when it's landed, it's not really a plane. It feels more sci-fi than that. Well, I really like the Helios Star Seeker VTOL attack plane. Good job, Seraph, on this creation. And I'm sure this would do awesomely in like a dogfight scenario. All that firepower. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have the VTOL fighter jet MN35. So it's, uh, I guess it's just some kind of f-35 inspired vtol it looks like an f-35 and this one is by mr naris all right let's spawn it in obviously all of those pieces falling off are the zero drag so it's uh i'm guessing this thing who could possibly break the sound barrier all right oh thrust vectoring that's awesome so we have pitch and thrust vectoring all right spaces to go left control oh what is oh so shift and left control is like trim. You see that? Those flat pieces on the edges? Those move when I press shift and control. So we've got some trim, which is nice. Q and E, I'm guessing that's your controls. Yeah, there we go. And then we also have shoot. Okay, Z. Oh, Z is an engine toggle. X. X is also an engine toggle. So I'm guessing there's speed modes. And then finally one. Oh, I guess one is VTOL mode. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what? Wow. Oh my God. 
the shift in control translate to the ascent and descent in this plane when it's in the VTOL mode. And then when I press one again to go into jet mode. Uh oh, oh, that's a cliff. Oh, <laughs> oops. I should probably do this away from the cliff face. Okay, so far I am impressed. Let's go into VTOL mode, raise altitude. There's also a tone generator in there. I don't know if you can hear that correctly, guys, but there is one in there. Yeah, that's nice. And it hovers. I'm guessing it can hover when I'm not in the plane too. Awesome. <laughs> All right. And now we just need to transition into the normal flight mode. Oh, oh, a little bit of a nosedive, but we recovered and the trim works fine. Would you look at that? That is crazy. Oh, this is so fast. So I'm going to just press X and this is uh, one of the speed modes. And I press Z. We're on max speed mode now. Awesome. Uh, I can just let go of the controls. And it's flying very well, in fact. Oh, can we trans... L there we go. Can we... All right. Okay. We just transitioned into VTOL mode. Uh, I I'm going to have to turn off these toggles though, right? Shift, shift, shift. All right. We're good. We're good. Oh, we can fly easily. We've just done a whole flip. <laughs> Not too bad for a mini jet, dude. Mini jet VTOL. I love it. It's great. Thing is, I can stay in VTOL mode and still go forward, which is awesome. But it's definitely better to fly in the normal mode just because how maneuverable this thing is. And I also think this aircraft will do wonders in a dogfight too because it is so nimble. I wonder if I can do like a stunt. Should I try and fly through like something here? I feel like I should fly through this little... Oh, no. Okay, well, um, clearly a skill issue. <laughs> and also, can we just take some time to appreciate the decal work on this thing? Like, look at that. That is amazing. There's so much like decals can do in this game. It's crazy. And not just decals. He's done textures. Yeah, I'm super impressed. I love this. Great creation. All right, up next, we have this. This is the, let me spawn it in. The Negasonic Sky Raptor VTOL by Precatch. Okay. All right, this, <laughs> this looks very unique. This is why I picked it. It looks um, it's like a bird, I guess, but it's also a plane. But you can tell it's got bird inspired features because the cockpit is like on a little bit of a tilt there. Yeah, it's on hinges. Oh, oh. Okay, you press space and you're good to go. So once you press space, we're in the hover mode, I'm guessing. Shift. What does shift do? Shift control. All right. Okay, this is... Are we going? All right. It's very bizarre control so far. Q and E, I believe they're your controls. We have a bunch of angle sensors too. I wonder if those are helping to keep this thing stable. This might be built before the gyro stabilizer, I think. All right, let's press one. Oh, one is the transform. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, things are glitching out. Ah, okay, respawn. We press one. That doesn't, is that supposed to break and explode itself? So it looks like it's trying to transform, right? So I press one, it transforms. For some reason, the rotating servos are still going, and I don't think that's supposed to happen. All right, let's uh, let's let's repair. Let's try two. What does two do? Oh, two is to shoot. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, I think it's the angle sensors. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of a problem with this one. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I wish this could work. Can we get this to work, guys? Oh. Oh, something's happening. Whoa. Whoa, okay. All right. Oh, oh, oh. So clearly, if I press this key bind, we start lifting. We have no stability. We're, we're glitching out. This might take a little bit of practice. Okay, we're hovering. We're hovering. We're hovering. If I hold shift, we hover in one place. Probably might have to read the instructions for this one. Okay, I don't know why the tail's doing that every time I want to go up. That's very bizarre. But yeah, the angle sensors are working. Look, they're keeping the mini thrusters aimed down. All right. Okay, so far... This is okay. Other than the self explosions and the random glitches, I think the logic in this thing is pretty cool, especially for something made before the gyro update. Right, this time, what if we press one? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> so this truly is a VTOL, guys. It just does the vertical takeoff. That's all it does. <laughs> Oh, oh. Maybe we're not supposed to transform. Maybe the transform function is broken. Maybe you just have to fly like this because I'm flying like this and it's not too bad. That's my yaw. The yaw is very slow. Okay, can we yaw away from the mountain? Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad in this hover mode. It's quite stable. It's just very slow controls. Well, this uh, Skyraptor VTOL by Precash is pretty cool. Maybe I'm just using it wrong to cause it to break. Or maybe there's a... Uh, maybe an update might have broke this. But either way, very interesting build. On to the next one. All right, here we have the Ornithopter. This is the Ornithopter from Dune. I don't know if you guys have watched that movie, but um, it's essentially a... That universe's helicopter. But it's an Ornithopter. And it's also like a dragonfly. Instead of me explaining, let's just show you. Also, this is by Yepi. So Yepi, thank you for this creation. This looks awesome. Like, I love the detail. I'm not sure if this actually flies, though. Does this fly? Because I'm not seeing any functional pieces. Oh, no. I see some propellers inside. Press E. All right. E is to open the wings. And then space. Is it space? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, God. Okay. May mm oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not flapping. Why aren't the wings flapping? And then I'm having some clanging issues too. Is there anything I need to press for this to take off? Okay, that's the shoot. All right, we're going. We're going. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? This is pretty cool. I think this is just a form build, guys, to be honest. This one is just for looks. I think this was for the... Yeah, this is the VTOL 2023 challenge. That was a while ago. But I mean, it's actually flying. I don't know if the the wings are supposed to flap really fast like in the movies. I don't know if they could... I don't even know if you can do that with just hinges. But yeah, dude, this looks awesome. It actually looks like the, the Dune Ornithopter, which is crazy. But I think this one is definitely just for show. Now, I do have a creation of my own that I want to show you guys, which is also inspired by Dune. Actually made an Ornithopter of my own. So to, uh, to make up for this moment, here's mine. And all I do is press A and it actually functions. Those helicopter blades give me lift. Shout out to that dumb guy for this uh, mechanism for doing this kind of ornithopter wing style. But yeah, so this is a mini ornithopter inspired by that one there. But that's the general point of this thing. It, it flaps its wings very fast and you can go up and down and fly around. But thank you, Yeppy, for this build. Let's see the last one we have. Okay, so we have the VTSV91 by Sea Weave Gem. I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry if I butchered that. But this looks insane. This is clearly some kind of spaceship. And yeah, I just love this design. <laughs> it's so strange. Look at that. Like, doesn't even look like it's supposed to fly, but I'm guessing it will. So let's try and get it to VTOL. All right, space is forward. Oh, when I press T, there's like a snowball dispenser? Interesting. Okay. Q and E, I'm guessing, are your controls. We have G. Oh my god. It has a whole song? It has a song, guys. That's crazy. Actually, tone generators. It's been so long since I've seen, like, music actually made in this game. Look at them. They're all going off in there. That's really well made. And then we have X. Oh, uh, there it is. There's the VTOL mode. And one is the lights, of course. So we just got to press X. Hold space. Do we have enough lift? Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Please, lift off. No. Is there something I'm missing? Okay, we see the yaw working. Do I need the music on? <laughs> Do I need the dispenser working? I'm so confused, guys. We have barely enough lift. Maybe this was made for space bound. In which case, the gravity on those planets are pretty much half of the gravity here on the danger zone. So, let's turn down the gravity. 0.5. Now, let's give it a try. Ah, oh, there we go. I thought so. I was right. Okay, 
We're flying now. We're definitely flying. Let's switch into flight mode. Oh, this is so strange to fly. It's trying to tilt up. But it's working. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's a VTOL. That is a very strange, unique spaceship VTOL, but I'll take it. Can we fly past these cliffs here? Oh, oh, a little unstable. There's so much, like, force from the bottom. Okay, cool. What's the first person like? Oh, okay, cool. All right, let me turn the music on again. Oh, we got a little light show in here and everything. That's so cool. Yeah, this is like a party vessel more than a spaceship, I guess. <laughs> Well, Z Weave Gem, I am thoroughly impressed with this uh, unique VTOL. Some of the creations you guys do on the workshop are just insane. Like, I imagine half of these are inspired by like real things or, you know, concept art. But also, you guys are just making things from your imagination, which is awesome too. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite uh, below. I know which one mine was, and that's the uh, the MN35. Love that thing. But also because it's, like, so close to the F35, and I love the F35. And whilst you're at it, guys, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!